Alright guys, welcome back to the next episode on this Pokemon series. So, in this episode we are going to be taking on Gym 5, which is Fantina's Gym. Um, usually the Psychic Gym, but with a randomizer that isn't the case. It'll be any Pokemon it decides it wants to be. Um, but I believe the puzzles are still the same. So, 3 out 5, 8, 8 out 7, 15. And um, we should... We could go in here and fight the other trainers, but we're not going to. We're just going to go through the gym. It's going to be a quick episode. I hope. Hey. Oh, right, so we don't have to fight any trainers. Right, okay. What is 12 add 28, which is 40. So straight ahead. Hey, correct the end. Like year one maths. Uh, three times thirteen, thirty nine. Yeah, we know we're in the right place. Let's go up to the top. We should be getting close to Fantina now. First we've gone to was fifteen. I believe. Yep, this is Fantina. So, before we go into this fight, this is going to be a difficult one. Um, I think it's going to be difficult anyway, because I think they should have a lot higher level Pokemon now. Now we're going into the fifth like gym. So, we're going to have to level up Mewtwo. You know what, we're going to start with Venusaur as per our party and see where we get to. Venusaur has its healing methods and its stalling out tactics, so it's definitely worth having. We didn't find a better move set for him with our TM, so hopefully we get one here. Only three Pokemon. That is not good for us. What level is the Slugma? 39. Alright, so let's Sleep Powder, because we are... We have got no guard, so it does help us. Leap Seed. I definitely don't think we should um, Petal Dance on our Gym Leader. So, we should... Let's go Harry Yammer. I feel like this might be a bad call. But I think this is the only one that isn't weak to fire in some way. Maybe Mewtwo as well. Or has a good move against the fire anyway. Um, just in case it wakes up, let's use Fake Out. There you go. So it was going to wake up that turn. Fake Out stops it from waking up. Uh, battle Throw, they're both the same. I don't know, Battle Throw plus Stab. Ooh, that did nothing. Right, so her first Pokemon was level 39, so I'm hoping it like over to like level 44 for her ace. Dust Ox. Okay, 42, that's not too bad. Um, if that has a flying type move, we die, so we need to swap out here. Go to Weavile. Weavile should be. might not be super effective, but we can at least hopefully tank a hit. Oh, it's bug. That is the wrong, wrong thing to have done, really. Um, right, Ice Shard. Wither Dance. That's not good. Special Attack, Special Defense, and Speed. Um. Alright, sod it. We're going Luxray. And we're just going to spark this. Try and do as much damage as we can. Their def defense hasn't gone up. And we can survive another one of them. Ooh, not anymore we cannot. We're going to have to kill it here. That's not good. If we get... Okay, well, she's just killed her own Dustox after doing Quiver Dance. 
Yeah. Stupid AI. That's all I can say. So, Mewtwo getting to level up's good. I need to keep that up. Mewtwo's obviously leveling longer because it's got a different EXP rate to everyone else. Like, a bar wise. Nido King. Okay, ground type. So, Lux rate is pointless. Yeah. Level 45. That's what I want to see. Right, let's go to Venusaur. This should be. A, I'm not going to say a very easy battle, but it should be an easier fight. Right. So let's sleep powder. Then it, this, is, this is why Venusaur is so OP, with no guard. Sleep powder, then leech seed to gain HP back. And then we can literally petal dance because we are super effective against ground. Oh no, it's poison ground, so we're not going to be super effective. We might have just lost our Venusaur here. We just gotta hope it doesn't earthquake. Oh wait, she healed. That's good. And then we'll get seeded Hyper Potion again. We might get confused after this one. So that might have just saved us knowing that. Uh, um, Knowing that she was going to high potion every time, that helped us a lot. Uh, poison, not going to be that effective. Ground would be. Uh, going to have to go Weavile. We have got Perugly as like a sacrifice money if I have to. But I don't think we'll have to. No, that was a crit. Yeah, even if I was to do nothing, it was to die. It's gonna die next turn anyway because of Leech Seed. So we were very lucky on that because we got three lures in from the Nido King and Venus would have been dead. Very dead actually. Well, there we go, Gym Five. Easy victory. No one's died, but her Ace was level forty-five. So, we that's a definite improvement on what we've been seeing. So, let's just hope that carries on. Because the EXP rates are just really stupid with the uh, EXP share mechanic. So, give me a grass type move. Pluck. Oh my god. Right. Okay. So, what we're going to do actually is let's just go and have a look at our PC haven't looked there in a long time for like swapping out our team I think maybe it might be time to change some people especially like maybe put Perugly away and choose someone else I feel like that might be a good step might improve the team a little bit we're not going to add the second Mewtwo because that's uh, just as a backup if our Mewtwo dies, I can level it up off, off, like, off recording and we're back to where we were. No problems there. Right, oh, Cynthia. Okay. What? Oh, very glitched this. Okay. Let's see what she's planning. I feel like. We have to go back to Celestic Town now. Is that what we have to do? Oh no, yeah, down here. Yeah, this is where I thought the next gym was. Can I leave? We can sort that in the next episode. Anyway. Like I said, I like a gym episode to be a gym episode. So that's what we're gonna do. But we will have a look at our PC just to see what we have. Is there anything we can potentially level up to improve our squad? Well, but having all these Pokemon that we've caught, I've not looked at their abilities. So, um, I don't think. Ah, here we go. Right. So we have a Porygon with Merciless, Rattled, Suction Cups, Diamond, Floor Fill, Drought, 
That might be good. God, all these Pokemon are still asleep from when we caught them. Shed skin on an Agron. You know what? Agron might be a good one to have. Same as Monferno. We don't have a fire type. Uh, heat proof. Victory star, obviously. Um, stake out. Moody. Ooh, the Moody. Nido Queen's not going to have it, though. A Drought Syndical is also good. Perish Body, Honey Gatherer, Magician. Okay, so there's not actually much to add. I do reckon we add a Fire Type, whether that's Monferno, Camera Up, Dull Cyndaquil, and we swap out our Perugly. Um, just because it's not really that good of a Mon. What does Stake Out do? Double the damage dealt to the target's replacement if the target switches out. That's only good for against us, really. Um, I feel like Mon Infernape's gonna be the better play. Oh, but it's attack down. Prevent other Pokemon from removing abilities from lowering Pokemon stuff. That's not bad. Um, 29, 37. See, the camera ups probably just going to be better. Because it's a ground type and we don't have one of them either. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to add camera up to the team and level it up. And then probably can stay in here for now. So, that is it guys. Sorry it's a quick episode, but... It was a gym episode and I have been doing that since the start of like, last couple of series. So. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe and I will speak to you all in the next one.